Hello friends, this is part 2 video of MCQs from pair of linear equations. In part 1 we had solved around 13 MCQs from this chapter. Here we will be solving some more. All the questions in this videos are word problems type. So there will be a scenario given we will have to frame the pair of linear equations and then solve for the unknown variable. So come on let's get started. Question number 14. What is the age of father if the sum of the ages of a father and his son in years is 65 and twice the difference of their ages in years is 50? Now, let us assume the father and the son's age to be x and y. Form two equations in terms of x and y and solve it. Let the father's age be x. Let the son's age be y. It's given that sum of the ages of father and his son is 65. So x plus y is 65. This is our first equation. Now we need one more equation. For that, let's use this statement. Twice the difference of their ages is 50. So twice x minus y is 50. So x minus y will be 50 by 2 will give you 25. So this is our second equation. We need to solve both. For solving, you can use either elimination or substitution method, whichever you are comfortable with. I prefer elimination method. So here we see that if we add both the equations, y will get eliminated. So we are just going to add both the equations. x plus x will become 2x. y and minus y will get cancelled. 65 plus 25 will give you 90. So 2x is 90. x will be 45. We need to find the age of the father, which we assumed as x. x is 45. So the answer will be 45 years. Option is B, 45 years. Question number 15. There are 20 vehicles, cars and motorcycles in a parking area. If there are 56 wheels together, how many cars are there? So let us assume the number of cars to be x. Let the number of cars be x. Then let's assume the number of motorcycles to be y. We will form a equation, two equations with x and y and then solve them. It's given that there are totally 20 vehicles. So x plus y is 20. This will be our first equation. Then it is given that totally there are 56 wheels. So how many wheels does one car have? 4. So x cars will have 4x wheels. Similarly. How many wheels does a motorcycle have? Two. So Y motorcycles will have two Y wheels. So this is the total number of wheels that X cars and mo Y motorcycles will have. 4X plus 2Y which is given as 56. Now let's divide this entire equation by 2 to make it in simple format. 2x plus y is equal to 28. So this will be our second equation. So let's take up 1 and 2 and solve for them. 2x plus y is equal to 28. Let us subtract both. I'm changing the sign. 
for all the three terms in the second equation to subtract second equation from the first equation x minus 2x will be minus x y minus y will be 0 so these two get cancelled 20 minus 28 is minus 8 so we have x as 8 we have to find how many cars are there. We assumed the number of cars to be x. We have solved for x. x is 8. So answer is option A, 8. Let's move on to the next sum. Question number 16. The father's age is 6 times his son's age. 4 years hence, the age of the father will be 4 times his son's age. What is the present age of the son and the father in years respectively? So there are two people here, father and his son. Then there are two time periods. One is present and the other time period is four years hence. So four years later. So let's assume the present age of the father to be x and the present age of the son to be y. So what will happen after 4 years? What will be the age of the father? It will be x plus 4, isn't it? For each year, your age is going to increase by 1. So father's age after 4 years will be x plus 4. Son's present age is y. So 4 years later, son's age would be y plus 4. We need two equations in terms of x and y and then we can solve them. So first line says father's age is 6 times his son's age. That is the present scenario. So father's age x is equal to 6y. This is your first equation. Then second line says 4 years hence the age of the father will be 4 times his son's age. So what happens after 4 years? The father's age which is x plus 4 is 4 times his son's age at that point of time. So 4 years later father's age is x plus 4 which is 4 times his son's age y plus 4. So we need to arrive at an equation from this. This can be written as x minus 4y equal to 16 minus 4 will give you 12. So this is our second equation. So we need to solve x and y. Sorry, we need to solve equation 1 and 2 to get the values of x and y. Let me use substitution method here. First equation states x is equal to 6y. Let's substitute x as 6y in equation number 2. You will get 6y minus 4y is equal to 12. So 2y is 12 which implies y is equal to 6. So do we have such an option? Yes, 6 and 36 should be the answer because if x, if y is 6, x is 6 times 6. So it will be 36. Son's age is 6, father's age is 36. Option C is the correct answer. Let's move on. 17th sum. 5 chairs and 4 tables cost rupees 2800 while the cost of 4 chairs and 3 tables is rupees 2170. What is the cost of 1 chair and 1 table respectively? So here let's assume the cost of one chair as C and the cost of one table as T. Normally we assume the variables as X and Y. There's no harm in considering them as C and T. So, if the cost of one chair is C, cost of five chairs will be 5C. And cost of four tables will be 40. Together, the cost is 2800. 
and the second statement tells that cost of four chairs which is 4c and three tables 3t is equal to 2170 so we have two equations we need to solve for c and t here we see that if we subtract or add directly we cannot eliminate c or t so let's multiply the first equation by 4 and the second equation by 5 so i'll be getting 20c here and 20c here as well so that i can eliminate c multiplying the first equation by 4 i get 20c is e 20c plus 16t is equal to 11,200. Let's multiply second equation by 5. So 5 four 20c plus 5 threes are 15t is equal to 0, 35, 8 and 10. Now we see that we can eliminate c by subtracting the second equation. So I change the sign for all the three terms. 20c minus 20c becomes 0. 16t minus 15t is t. And we need to subtract this. 350. So the cost of one table is 350. Option A has 350. So we can go with it. Option A, 280 and 350 is the correct answer moving on to the next sum sum number 18 the car hire charges in a city comprises of a fixed charges together with a charge for the distance covered for a journey of 12 km, the charge paid is rupees 89 and for a journey of 20 km, the charge paid is rupees 145. What will a person have to pay for traveling a distance of 30 km? Here, the car charges comprises of two components. One is a fixed charge and then there is a variable charge which varies along with the distance traveled. So let's assume the fixed charge as F, F for fixed. Then let the rate per kilometer be R. So if you travel 12 kilometers, how is the bill calculated? For 12 kilometers, you have the fixed charge as it is. Then per kilometer, the charge is R. So for 12 kilometers, it is 12 R. So this will be the total bill for 12 kilometers, which is given as 89. So next scenario is given for 20 kilometers. The charge will be F plus 20 into R, which is given as 145 in the sum. So let's solve for F and R. Again, we can eliminate F by simply subtracting the second equation from the first equation. F minus F, 0. 12R minus 20R is minus 8R. 89 minus 145 will be minus 56. So R will be 7. So when R is 7, we can use this equation to find F. F plus 12 into 7 is equal to 89. So, F plus 84 is 89. So, F will be 89 minus 84 will give you 5. So, your fixed charge is 5 rupees. 
and the rate per kilometer is 7 rupees now the question is how much a person has to pay for traveling a distance of 30 kilometer for 30 kilometers the fixed charge 5 plus 30 into 7 so it will be 5 plus 210 which is 215 option c 215 is the correct answer let's go on question number 19 sum of digits of a two digit number is 13 if the number is subtracted from the one obtained by interchanging the digits the result is 45 what is the number now let's assume that tens digit let the tens digit be x and units digit b y it's given that the sum of the two digits is 13 so if we simply add x and y sum of the digits is 13 now if x and y are the two digits how will you write the two digit number it is 10x plus y let me explain with a small example let's consider a two digit number say 28 what are the two digits in this in this number 2 and 8 so how do you get 28 by multiplying the tens digit 2 with 10 and by multiplying the units digit 8 with 1 so you have to multiply the digits with their place value for 2 the place value is 10 and for 8 the place value is 1 so 2 into 10 plus 8 into 1 will give you 28 similarly if x is the digit in the tens place you multiply it with place value 10 and y is the digit in the units place so the place value will be 1 so that is how you get the number as 10x plus y so the two digit number is given by 10x plus y the number obtained by reversing the digits so what happens is tens digit will be y in this case and units digit will become x this is reversing the digits so what will be the number obtained after reversing the digit after reversing the number is now the tens digit is y so 10y plus x it's given if we subtract these two the result is 45 so 10y plus x minus 10x plus y is equal to 45 it is given number is subtracted from the one obtained by interchanging the digits so i'm subtracting the original number from the number obtained by subtracting the digits simplifying this you will get 9y minus 9x is equal to 45 so here we have one equation here we have another equation this equation can be further simplified by dividing it by 9 y minus x will give you 5 so let's take up this as second equation we just have to solve for x and y now simple equations x plus y is 13 and x minus y is 5 if we add both 1 and 2 you will get x will get eliminated and 2y will be 13 plus 5 18 i'm just adding 1 and 2 2y is 18 
which implies y will be 9. So if y is 9, x will be 13 minus 9, that is 4. So the number will be 49. x is our tens digit and y is our units digit. So option B, 49 is the answer. Let's go on to the next sum. Question number 20. The numerator of a fraction is 4 less than the denominator. If the numerator is decreased by 2 and the denominator is increased by 1, the denominator is 8 times the numerator. Find the fraction. Now let's assume n as the numerator and d as the denominator. So the fraction will be n by d. First line states numeration, numerator of a fraction is 4 less than the denominator. So n is d minus 4. n minus d is minus 4. We have got our first equation. Next line states if the numerator is decreased by 2, that is n minus 2, and the denominator is increased by 1, so d plus 1, then the denominator is 8 times the numerator. So this into 8 gives the denominator. So is it clear here? If the numerator is decreased by 2 and denominator is increased by 1, you have n minus 2 d plus 1. It is given the denominator is 8 times the numerator. So I have just multiplied the numerator by 8 and equated it to the denominator. So let's simplify this. d plus 1 will be 8 and minus 16. So 8 and minus d will be equal to 17. Let this be our second equation. So we have n minus d is equal to minus 4 and 8n minus d as 17. So to eliminate d, I have to subtract the second equation from the first equation. So I am changing the signs for all the three terms. n minus 8n will be minus 7n. Minus d and plus d gets cancelled. Minus 4 minus 17 is minus 21. So n is minus 21 by minus 7, which is 3. So if n is 3, d will be 3 plus 4, which is 7. So what's the fraction? n by d, which is 3 by 7. Option d is the correct answer. That's the end of this video, my friends. So we have practiced 20 different MCQs from this chapter. For practicing other chapters, check out the playlist in my channel. If you are yet to subscribe, kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive regular notifications. Thanks for watching and have a great day.